Right, so if you're new to Icarus and you've got a frame per second issue and you can't work out how to fix it, um, it's a little tutorial how to uh, speed it up and uh, make it a little bit smoother. So we just uh, welcome back. Start a Lego's prospect. unit runs Icarus for the UDA. But most of this planet's still a blank on the map. So once we're in game, I'll show you the basically the frames you'll be able to see the performance increase. Scans. I'll tell and you step by step how to privilege. do it. Just loading it, you can see in the top left hand corner we're at 37 40 frames per second. Now I'm running a GTX 1070 Mini ISO tag, so it's not particularly a recommended graphic card for the game. As you can see, once you jump out, the UDA running around sucks. 20, maybe 26 frames per second, lows of around 20. Up, which means they need terrain data and a heap of it. So the Fast. first thing you need to do. So grab the radar from the supply. Go frame. settings. The unit wants scans from three locations on your map. You'll Let's be heading into uncharted. There we go. All right. So as you can see in the settings, everything's at high. First thing you want to do is disable DLS. Return the game. Not much of a difference. Now the priority one to turn on is AMD. Uh, the fluid eye FX. It's really good. Uh, set that sharpness to around one. Come back to the game and straight away I'm on a solid 27 to 30 odd frames per second. We can improve this even more by going back to your settings, um, changing the field of view. I generally have it around 100 to 105. I believe this um, problem has been fixed in the next patch, but straight away it's a little bit more higher, a little bit more stable. That's before you either change any settings down. So the next thing you'd need to do, ideally, or to turn off um, your tessellation. So that's going to really affect performance when it comes to your ground and the rendering for your light on the ground. Uh, stuff like your shadows, I'll turn them down to medium. Uh, post effects, generally medium. I'll turn the shadow caster down to one. Um, shadings, I'll generally put that on medium, and foliage, I'll put that on medium as well. Um, if you really want to save RAM, you can drop your uh, textures down to medium, and turn the effects down to medium, and that'll really increase it as well. Right. So now we're up to, yeah. Peaking up to 40 then. So if we quickly quit the desktop, restart Icarus. Oh. Quickly log back into the game. Just give it a second to load up. You can see now I'm at. 59 to 60 frames per second. It probably will drop down a little bit.
Now, you do get used to the shadows and the way they cast with the effects. Um, you can carry on tweaking, uh, changing the settings to how you like it. But I'm playing at 1440p, so the resolution isn't a 1080. I know that's been causing a lot of issues for people. Um, I've got the V-Sync off, uh, on, sorry. But what you'll find is with time, as you uh, start playing, you tend to notice um, the actual focusing and the trees effects will actually load better as it learns the game better as well. And hopefully this will help people uh, improve performance. Just to show you, if I'm going to turn uh, the fluid off, let's so turn this back off, back to the game, straight away, frames are right back down. So the AMD, um, the software works very well, it changes the way the game is rendered, it does learn and it does evolve what I've experienced over time and it really improves the game, especially on the video uh, graphics cards on the 1080s, 1070s, either on some of the uh, RTX cards it does help uh, to some extent. But yeah, it's just finding what works best for you. I hope that helps. Um, if you like the video, hit the like. If not, thank you. Bye.